Ten years ago, Samsung unveiled a concept folding smartphone in a CGI-only film. Despite the fact that, well, we are sitting here right now holding a smartphone which is much better, it seemed like something out of a science fiction film. Next what? Welcome back to Tech Insights, everyone. Today, we bring you the seven coolest cell phones of the future that we now know are being developed by firms in secret. Number 1. Smartphone That Folds You've all seen foldable phones in the present, and while they appear to be somewhat similar on the surface, what will they look like in five years? With the sliding phone, Oppo believes they have the solution. Although this item is divided into eight portions rather than two, it is still foldable. You may fold the screen along with any of those pieces since it is flexible. Opos clearly gave this a lot of consideration. Even their rough patents have been made into a real trailer where you can see how even though it is barely the size of a credit card when fully folded, if you open, say, two portions, you can see a display. When it is fully extended, it is broad enough to allow you to perform three different jobs simultaneously. If you unfold it a little farther, the cameras turn to face the front so you may capture selfies. Number 2. Smartphone with a Curved Screen Another company that has established a reputation for innovative thinking in the marketplace over the course of the past decade. One of the primary areas of concentration has been on the curvature of screen surfaces. Their flagship phones were initially completely flat, but because of their waterfall display technology, they were able to transition to a curved design and subsequently an ultra-curved design. They are also exploring the possibility of matching a curve with an angle of 270 degrees. The arc display eliminates the risk of accidentally touching the screen along these borders, and it also has a built-in camera for taking selfies, which leaves the entire panel free of obstructions, supposing the company creates sophisticated software to get rid of them. If the vibration motor is of good quality, there are a great many opportunities that may be taken advantage of with this notion. Digital buttons have the advantage of being able to be adjusted depending on the software, and they can be created to resemble the experience of physical buttons. These benefits make digital buttons superior to their physical counterparts. There may be media controls and volume controls available to you when you are watching videos. The only minor criticism is that it is possible to get notifications on your phone even while it is in standby mode if you use the shoulder buttons while you are playing a game. Because of the embargo imposed by the US, this company is finding it extremely difficult to take any kind of action. As a result, we have no choice but to wait for another party to buy the patent before we can anticipate any kind of outcome regarding the arc display matter. Number 3. A Clear Smartphone It gets stranger since Samsung is secretly developing a transparent phone. After all, businesses have been pondering this for, no joke, decades at this point. But just a few years ago, Samsung submitted a patent application that not only detailed the design of their transparent phone, but also how it would function. They outlined how they would use a transparent luminous panel that would have pixels as bright as their regular screens, but ones that turn invisible when the phone is off. A fully translucent structure might be made with almost transparent batteries and cables. In the center area of the phone, the message is this utterly insane notion is really possible now. For the simple reason that transparency is a gimmick that offers no benefits beyond looking good, and gimmicks don't sell phones since smartphones are such costly products. Number 4. The Thinnest Smartphone Ever Made It's time to turn to Viva as this firm has developed a reputation over the previous 10 years for just going to the farthest extreme as Samsung requested, how can you beat that? They developed the world's thinnest smartphone, the first full-screen smartphone, and the most stable smartphone camera in history. Number 5. Phone with a Drone Camera Now let's consider the children's parents. They are exploring the possibility of providing me with a smartphone that is also equipped with a drone camera. You would have access to your phone and when you pressed a button on it, the phone would eject a tray from which a miniature camera would launch into the air. Either the drone will follow you around and capture all that it sees, or it will spin around in front of you and take photographs of everyone including you. You can see why it has sparked a bit of a frenzy when you consider that a silent clip that simply teases a depiction of this notion has garnered approximately 50 million views. At the moment, all that is required to take a photo is to extend your arm and push a button, but using a drone introduces almost 50 additional factors into the equation. You would now need to take into account a second battery that has to be recharged on a regular basis, propellers that get stuck in the wind, get it entangled in a tree, and other potential complications. In addition, if you ask a friend to take a photo for you, you can do a lot of the same things that this drone can do for you. Number 6. System for 3D Scanning Cameras But for a future camera system that is both cool and practical, 
A few months ago, Huawei patented a 3D scanning camera system that has three cameras that are sufficiently spaced apart from one another and a screen in the middle that serves as a sort of a mirror. The idea of building a 3D model of your face and skin is quite bizarre, but the business explained how it will be able to tell you everything in a 43-page booklet. You view sunscreen, check to see whether you correctly removed your makeup, and even doubt the texture of your skin. You've also looked at your wrinkles and spots and how to reduce them. Number 7. iPhone That Folds Just before the first gadget, which has been discussed for years and has been the subject of stacks of papers, patent applications, and rumors, there comes another reminder of how sophisticated our phones may be in a few short years. In the future, and as it turns out, we have confirmation that Apple has built two functional prototypes internally, one that folds like a book, similar to Samsung's Z Fold series, and one that folds like a clamshell, similar to Samsung's Z Flip series. Analysts claim that between the two, Apple prefers the clamshell. Even while this seems like a rumor, if we look at Apple's other paperwork, we can see that they're exploring utilizing sapphire for a display that is resistant to cracking and that they're working on a hinge that doesn't leave a crease when opened. Our prediction is that Apple will commit to a clamshell foldable iPhone by the end of the year if the market for foldable devices continues to expand. But we also believe that they won't release it until they can make it. When Apple sells a phone, they have to be completely certain that it is prepared for the general market. It's not like they're ever going to be the first firm to offer cutting-edge experimental technology simply because it's cool. And now one more additional phone for you all, Tetris smartphone from Samsung. Are you ready to see the most bizarre mobile device you've ever seen? This is Samsung's Tetris phone, and it's not hard to guess where that name came from. A lot of companies have experimented with the idea of having a screen on the back of their phones because it can be very useful for notifications or taking photos with your camera. But in the past, they've either been too low quality to see or too small to be able to do either. However, it's a surprisingly good idea because the big screen on the front is basically just like a normal phone, except that on the other, the screen goes much wider and bends around the back. Because the back display is part of the front display, you get the same high-resolution, high-quality panels all the way around the screen that stops partway down the phone, so you still have a place to naturally rest your fingers without touching it. If you believe this is worthwhile, please leave a comment, and if we missed any cell phones, please leave a remark as well. Share it with your friends so they may learn about these mobile phones as well. We will be right back with more cool content like this. So what are you waiting for to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel? Thank you so much for watching our video, and we will see you in the next one.